Good evening, YouTube. This is Johnny. I looked at my last video. It's been three days, and since I'm alone, tonight is March the 17th, 2023. It is going on 6 o'clock in the evening. My wife left this evening to go to a woman's Bible conference or theology conference until 9 o'clock. And so uh, I was going to make a video tomorrow because she's gone tomorrow to the same conference. And, um, but uh, I have, uh, I've been making book nook videos, as some of you might not know. I volunteer at our local library used bookstore called the Book Nook. And they've been taking books out of circulation. And I, go through them and I buy some of them and I thought I would show, I've been showing them in the last, this would be Book Nook Hall, I think number four. And uh, I have thrift store books. Yesterday I had a doctor's appointment. I thought it was my physical, but what it was is that every, well, my physical is in September, but what, Tomorrow, yesterday was, is they just wanted to uh, renew my prescriptions on my meds and just look at me and see how I was doing. And I'm, they looked at my, they did blood work and, you know, I'm doing fine. As I've told you in the past, my wife is a retired professional nurse and she looked at my blood work uh You know, we get them in over the line, and it, over, and I'm doing fine. So yesterday, the point is that after the book, after the the um, doctor's appointment, my wife and I we went and visit thrift stores <laughs> and looked at used books, and I bought a couple of used books, and yeah, we found out one thing about the library: they're going to do a remodeling, and they're going to. Uh, put the book nook in a different place and so this coming July they're going to shut down until April of 2024 so the library bookstore the book nook will be gone for almost a year it was gone during the COVID plague uh, almost a year it was shut down due to the COVID plague and uh, but I'll miss the book nook, but I get books from thrift stores. I buy books from Amazon. There, I go to Blue Stockings Bookshop here in Holland, and plus I have, <laughs> I have, you know, going on fifteen thousand books, and so I don't really, I have plenty to read. But what I'm going to do, this is Friday reads, and what I read today is a book I got in the mail. The other day, this is Platonic, Platonicism and Mystical Theology, the Spiritual Doctrine of St. Gregory of Nyssa by Sheen Dainu. I can't pronounce his name. Uh, I, I'm, I'm on the, uh, the, I get email from St. Valmer's Seminary Press. And they just reprint, they just, this has just been translated out of French by, what was his name? Anthony B. Gathel and Michael Donnelly. Anyway, I've been reading Gregory of Nyssa for many years. I have his commentary on the Song of Solomon. And this is glor from glory to glory, text from the Gregory of Nessa's, Nessa's mystical writings. And this is also by Jean. Yeah, I bought this when we were living in Houston. I think I bought this. This came out in 1961. Also, I have in the great Classics of Western Spirituality, his famous treatise, The Life of Moses, which is a very famous spiritual book. And so I recommend him. 
if you're into patristics, he's one of the great patristic theologians. He's uh, revered in the Eastern Orthodox, and he's appreciated among Protestants. So I recommend his writings. So I've been reading these the last couple of days. That's my Friday reads. This is why I read the day. Today I volunteered at the book nook. I read this. I read this last night. I read those other books last night. So that's what I've been reading. I also uh, been reading, uh, I read this yesterday, The Holy Spirit by Robert Lethem. And I am reading still, Engaging the Doctrine of the Holy Spirit. Love and Gift in the Trinity and the Church by Matthew Leering, Lef, Lefering. So that's what I've been reading in the mornings and writing in my diary. I'm on the second folder, as you all know. After the 15th, I go into the my second folder. So today is March the 17th. I ended on page 226 for the year 2023. Got my March 18th diary already. So this is this is a, what I've gotten from the book nook the last couple of weeks. I got this today. I volunteered today at the book nook and I bought this for three dollars. I'm into books about landscapes and gardening. I'm not really into landscaping and gardening. But this is called Ro Romantic Gardens, Nature, Art, and Landscape Design. And I just like uh, this big table book. I like the illustrations. The uh, I like reading about gardens in the 19th century. And romantics were really into gardens. And uh, like romanticism in Germany, you read about the gardens. And people's gardens and parks and things like that. So that's what I got the day at the book nook. Now here's a, I got this book Monday. I got these uh, Herman Melville tales, poems, and other writings. This is in the Library of America. No, Modern Library. This is a library withdrawal. Uh, yeah, I collect the writings of Herman Melville Nathaniel Hawthorne, Margaret Fuller, Emily Dickinson, Henry David Thoreau, Ralph, Ralph Emerson, and people like that. So, and I, I, this is a book on the Harlem Renaissance. Uh, day, a uh, beautiful pageant, African American theater, drama, and performance in the Harlem Renaissance, 1910 to 1912. It's hard to find books on the Harlem Renaissance. I read, as you all know, I collect books on the history of New York City, and one of the great periods of the New York City is the Harlem Renaissance. They're in Harlem, New York City. So I picked this up. This is by David Krishner. Krishner? Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful pageant, uh, African American theater, drama, and performance in Harlem Renaissance, 1910 to 1927. And then I picked this book up. This is a book I've been wanting, <laughs> and I looked at it. This came out. It's not that old, I don't think. I think it came out in oh, 2012. Anyway, I don't have this in my Henry James collection. Portrait of a Novel, Henry James and the Making of American Matter, American Masterpiece by Michael Gora. Uh, this is, the masterpiece is Portrait of a Lady. Was, is one of my favorite novels by Henry James. And this is all, uh, it's like a biography of that novel. And so I got this from my Henry James collection. And then this is a library withdrawal. Books are made out of books by Michael Lynn Cruz, a guide to Gormick McCarthy's literary influences. 
I didn't know such a book existed. I I haven't bought the new two uh, two novels by uh, Carmack McCarthy, but I have his other ones. And this goes. This was first published in 2017, University of Texas Press. And yeah, it looks at um, this compendium of Gormick McCarthy's sources is remarkably complete. Any student of one of the great living American novelists should benefit immensely from having this volume. I particularly admire the rich gathering of background for the masterpiece, The Blood Meridian, and that's by Harold Bloom. Also recommend it uh, by others. So I was really excited to find this from my Cormac McCarthy collection and to read on the Blood Meridian. See, there's a whole chapter on Blood Meridian and the literary influences in that. And then I collect books on Andy Warhol and there were several books on Andy Warhol, but I had them, but this one I didn't have. Holy Terra, Andy Warhol, Close Up. And this is a library withdrawal. It's really beat up, but hey, it's this is by Bob Carlero. I can't pronounce the name. Colosello. And this came out. Oh, when did this come out? This came out in 1971. So I collect books on Andy Warhol, biographies, all kinds of things. Also, I collect books on Edith Wharton, the great American writer. This is uh, The Brave Escape, Edith Wharton, a biography by Connie Nailham Wool Woolrich. Uh, yeah, I have a huge Edith Wharton collection. and She was friends with Henry James. You can see a picture of him there. She lived in Paris and, and in England and biography of Edith Wharton. And then this book on Spain, this was in the bookstore. This is not a library withdrawal. This is a donation. I bought this, I think for $7, maybe more, maybe $3. I can't remember. But this is Spain, the center of the world, 1519 to 1682 by Robert Goldwyn. Yeah, I collect books on Spain. Spain, because I read a lot of about Spain in literature by S Spanish writers, and it looked really interesting, so I bought it. And then there was uh, this was in the bookstore. I bought this. This cost me I don't know seven dollars, I think maybe three. I can't remember. Kurt Vonnegut letters. And this is edited by Dan Wakefield, his letters. Also, this is a library withdrawal of the Vonnegut Encyclopedia uh, by Mark Leeds. This is all, I have almost all of his uh, Kurt Vonnegut's, Vonnegut or Vonnegut uh, books. And so I just grabbed this. <laughs> because it's an encyclopedia of all his the characters and his novels and so if you're into him it's probably a thing that you would get. I didn't, didn't have his letters. I have biographies of him and essays and other material but not his letters. And then I collect books of Norman, Norman Mailer this is called Jack and Norman, a state raised convict and the legacy of Norman Mailer's The Executioner Song. And then I, I collect books on Alex Tavol, A Life by Hugh Bowen. You know, he wrote that famous book, um, oh, how, uh, what's it called? Uh, Amer Democracy in America. And I, I have other biographies of him, but I didn't have this one. And I have all kinds of books on democracy in America. And so I got this. 
This is the new novel by Anthony Doerr. I, this is his newest one. I have his other novels. and This was in the store for $3 and I bought it. And then I like 19th century biography and this is on... Uh, it's called Uncle Tom's Cabin and the Battle for America, Mightier Than the Sword by David S. Reynolds. I have two other books by David S. Reynolds. I have his book uh, Walt Whitman's America and John Brown, the, the Abolitionist. Also, uh, I might have another book by him, but I didn't have this one by him, David e. Reynolds. Miter Than the Sword, Uncle Tom's Cabin, and the Battle for America. So, yeah. Uncle Tom's Cabin is perhaps the most influential and ironic iconic novel ever written by an American. In this captivating cultural history, David S. Reynolds not only charts the factors but that conspired to make Harriet Breacher Stoll 1852 novel instant bestseller, but also traces the novel's political, cultural, and social legacy up to the present day. So, so yeah, I collect on Norman Mailer, he wrote a book on the Executioner's Song about this convict and somehow, I don't know, I know the whole story, but this came out and when did this come out? 2017 by J Jerome Loving. And of course I have Spain, Kurt Vonnegut's Letters, Encyclopedia. So, you know, all kinds of things come into the book. Like novels, The, Cock the Cloud Cockatoo Land by Anthony Doerr. This is brand new. It's not, it's not a library withdrawal. Somebody donated it. Alex, is that Alex? Talker Boy, I can't pronounce the name. The Life, always love biographies. Edith Wharton, biography. Thing on Andy Warhol, the great pop artist, personality. Uh, books are made out of books. A Guide to Cormac McCarthy's Literary Influences by Michael Lynn Cruz. Uh, Portrait of a Novel, Henry James and the Making of America Masterpiece by Michael Gore. I just bought his book, Michael Gore's book, on Faulkner. Uh, so it's like a literary study of Faulkner's writings. Just came out. I have that downstairs. Book on the Harlem Renaissance. A Beautiful Pageant. The Writings of Herman Melville. Romantic Gardens. Nature, art, and landscape design. So that's what I got at the book nook the last couple of weeks. And uh, so that's what I've been doing. I haven't really started reading any of these books. Uh, I've been reading this today. And the th books I've been reading are over there. And and like I said, if you want to know what I'm reading every day, you can always go into my online diary, Crooked Fingers, in Live Journal, and just read what I read every day, what I read in the mornings, and what I read in the afternoons and the, in the evenings, and uh, what I get at thrift stores and the book nook, and if you just want to know my my life. <laughs> but yeah, check out Gregory Nasa, Nasa, Nasa. Greg and Nisa, The Life of Moses. Uh, I don't know when this was actually, what his dates were. I can't remember right now. Uh, but I uh, highly recommend the series, The Classics of Western Spirituality. And uh, yeah. Really enjoying reading on the on the Holy Spirit and Robert Latham on the Holy Spirit and 
Also been reading Robert Lethem, The Lord's Supper, Eternal Word, and Broken Bread. So I got a lot to read, occupy my mind as I wait for the second coming of Christ and uh, read the Bible. But I, st I have been reading William Perkins still, volume 5 of his collected works on the Apostles' Creed. I'm still reading that in the mornings. And we haven't started reading Calvin's Institutes on Christian Religion yet. We did finish reading uh, William Guntry's The Great Christian Interest. So we're going to start reading Calvin's Institutes probably this week, probably next week. So I hope you're having a good, you had a good reading week. This is Friday Reads. This is the Book Nook Hall number four. Uh, just saying hi, thank you for your comments. And it's not spring-like here yet. It's supposed to be in the 50s next week. Uh, but we know it's spring because we wake up in the morning and we hear the robins. <laughs> so you always know when spring is here because you hear the birds in the morning singing. So, once again, thank you for your comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. Do pray you're all doing well. If you got any questions about these books or you got anything you want to share with me, feel free. You can ask me questions and I'll sign off. Until next time, bye.